The Dallas to Houston bullet train project is set to revolutionize transportation in Texas and the United States, and it's not something you'll want to miss. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the history of this proposal, the benefits of this high-speed train, and what it means for the future of transportation in Texas. You'll hear from an expert who will share his insights on the technology behind this bullet train, the impact it will have on the environment, and the economic benefits it will bring to both cities. We'll also show you the route the train will take with breathtaking aerial shots of the beautiful Texas landscape. The Dallas to Houston Bullet Train the year was 2009 when the government revealed an ambitious vision of infusing a whopping $8 billion into high-speed passenger rail train projects that would span over 10 regions throughout the country. One of the outcomes of his grand plan was the birth of Lone Star High Speed Rail in 2010, which aimed to connect Dallas and Houston. Two years later, in 2012, the company behind this groundbreaking endeavor rebranded itself as Texas Central Railway and formed a partnership with the Japanese firm responsible for managing Japan's most extensive high speed rail system. Fast forward to 2015, the company appointed Tim Keith as the new CEO after Carlos Aguilar. The former CEO stepped down and this solidified the route, marking a significant milestone in the project's evolution. Back in June 2017, plans were revealed to kick off construction in 2019, with the project set to create an impressive 10,000 job opportunities every year throughout the construction process. Once the operations began, the project was set to generate 1,500 permanent jobs. As the plans progressed, in May 2018, Texas Central revealed its partnership with Bechtel, a leading global engineering firm, to oversee project management. This collaboration was expected to further enhance the project's success. Fast forward to September 13, 2018, and the company successfully secured a whopping $300 million loan. This funding was intended to cover expenses for essential project aspects such as permitting, design, and engineering, and allowed the project to progress even further. The high-speed rail, which will use Japanese technology, has never had a crash of fatality. Due to operations in over 50 years in Japan, the bullet train will benefit the almost 50,000 Texans who travel frequently between Houston and Dallas-Fort Worth. The technology's safety, reliability, and absence of crossings will make the train a convenient and safe mode of transportation. The train is expected to start operating soon and is a significant project that represents Texas's ability to undertake big initiatives. According to the Managing Director of External Affairs at Texas Central, Holly Reid, quote, The train never crosses a road and no cars waiting on trains. Also, there are no trains intersecting the cars and no whistles or horns on the train. That's how you get reliability and safety. There's one track going north and one track going south. So you never have trains going opposite directions. One of the features of the Dallas to Houston bullet train is that it utilizes an advanced regenerative braking system, which allows for the conservation and conversion of kinetic energy into electric power while being powered by overhead catenary cables and running on all electric trains. With nearly 100,000 Texans commuting between these cities every week, this high-speed rail project will provide a quick and convenient travel option. The 240-mile high-speed rail line can transport passengers between Dallas and Houston in just under 90 minutes. With a stop in the Brazos Valley area, departures are made available every 30 minutes during peak periods and every hour during off-peak periods. There are six hours reserved each night for maintenance and inspection. The train is capable of operating at speeds over 200 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest modes of transportation. Plus, the train features spacious, wide-bodied seats arranged in 2x2 two -two configuration, with ample leg, head, and elbow room. Say goodbye to the middle seat squeeze. The train offers a choice of service levels with quiet and work-friendly cabins, food and beverage options to fit your needs and budget, plentiful Wi-Fi, and powerful outlets. This allows you to get down to business, read, enjoy a movie, talk, or catch a quick nap during your journey. Fares are highly competitive with the cost of travel by car or commercial air service. You'll also have access to a variety of retail stores, restaurants, and shops located in passenger stations all with a distinctly Texas style of service provided by well-trained staff who are eager to please. With departures available every 30 minutes during peak travel periods, you can easily review schedules, select seats, purchase tickets, change travel plans, 
order onboard food and drinks, reserve rental vehicles at your destination, and book onward travel connections online or via mobile apps. Stations are located with easy access to major roadways, connections to public transit options, and plenty of on-site parking. Wondering why this project became necessary? With Dallas and Houston among the top cities in the U.S., with an insanely growing population coupled with the reports from U.S. Census Bureau, the population in these areas is only going to increase in the coming years. But here's the problem. It currently takes up to four hours to travel between these cities by car, and that's without factoring in traffic and other delays. Unfortunately, things are only going to get worse. The Texas Department of Transportation has reported that by 2040, it could take up to six hours to travel between Dallas and Houston due to increasing CO2 levels. That's a huge amount of time to spend on the road, and it's not sustainable for the environment either. A high-speed train that will connect Dallas and Houston became necessary. This train will not only help reduce travel time to just 90 minutes, but it will also be environmentally friendly by reducing carbon emissions. This train is a much-needed solution to the transportation problems between these two cities, and it will undoubtedly make a huge impact on the lives of the people living in the areas. The major reason for the delay in the project? The Dallas to Houston bullet train project has faced several challenges, including lawsuits from landowners along the proposed route. The landowners sought to prevent the company from conducting surveys on their properties, which are necessary for the project's planning and implementation. One of the major issues of these legal battles was whether or not the company could be considered a railroad company, which would grant them the ability to use eminent domain to claim land for their project. The back and forth between the company and the landowners dragged on for years, with many legal battles being fought in both the court of public opinion and the court of law. While the company argued that they were indeed a railroad company, some landowners contended that they were not and that they should not be able to use eminent domain to claim its property. The Green Light in 2022, the Texas Supreme Court issued a ruling that clarifies the eminent domain authority of Texas Central. The court ruled in favor of Texas Central in a 5-3 decision, stating that the company has the power to use eminent domain to acquire the land necessary to build the rail. In case you are wondering what eminent domain is, it is a legal power that allows the government or authorized entities to claim private property for public use with compensation to the property owners. So what does this ruling mean for Texas Central Project? Well, it was a significant victory for Texas Central as it granted them the power to acquire the land they needed to move forward with the project. This ruling has also been seen as a victory for proponents of high-speed rail in the United States, as it could set a precedent for future projects. However, the ruling has not been without controversy. Critics of the project argue that the use of eminent domain to acquire the land necessary for the rail is a violation of private property rights. They also claim that the project is too expensive and will not be financially viable without government subsidies. It's impossible not to feel a sense of excitement for what the future holds with the Dallas to Houston bullet train. This ambitious project is set to revolutionize travel in Texas and beyond, connecting these two major cities like never before. With its state-of-the-art technology and impressive speed, the bullet train promises to bring a new level of convenience, comfort, and efficiency to our lives. So are you ready to welcome this project with open arms? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.